A controversy is brewing in Chester County over an 80-year-old plaque. Rose Tobian tells the story. It is this plaque of the Ten Commandments that members of the Free Thought Society would like removed from the Chester County Courthouse. County commissioners say that will never happen. That the bronze slab attached to the building's facade in 1920 is protected by the Constitution. This plaque is part and parcel of the kind of freedom of religious expression that the founding fathers were thinking about when they wrote the First Amendment. The Free Thought Society disagrees, saying the placement of the plaque on a public building violates the boundaries between church and state. Such ornaments, they say, appeared after right-wing advocates would pressure lawmakers. Agitating to use the symbolism in order to promote their own agenda. And I'm afraid that politicians who did not want to be viewed as anti-religious -re went along with it. Kelly says such groups were also responsible for the addition of the word God in the pledge and currency. He showed us a 1935 dollar bill before In God We Trust was added. 1957 uh, was when the... Uh, uh, under God was added to the Pledge of Allegiance. I believe it was 1954 when it was, uh, and God We Trust was added to our currency. Brooks and his group, along with the ACLU, are prepared to sue. They wouldn't be the first. Last month, the U.S. Supreme Court let stand a lower court ruling about a similar controversy in Elkhart, Indiana. In that case, the lower court ruled that a Ten Commandments marker outside a municipal building violated the constitutional boundaries between church and state. County commissioners say they'll gladly take on a fight. We would probably, we would defend it, uh, and I think vigorously. In Westchester, Montgomery County, Rose Tobian, Channel 6 Action News.